Nasdaq 100 yielded a very good bullish week. We discussed last week that it is precisely achieving 20 period moving average and yielding a greener candle. Staying above 15,000, we can expect it to rise. It has, however, achieved the next stronger resistance at 15,600 and failed to stay above those levels. Now, what does this mean for the coming week for Tech 100? What can be expected? And for the entire month of September, how the Tech 100 can behave? What could be expected? We will see with the help of charts, followed with indicators. Towards the end, I will give you the trading levels, strategy and the summary of our observation throughout this analysis. So do watch till the end. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Do press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis and targets which I share for NASDAQ 100. First with the Asia and Europe session and next with the US session. These two analysis definitely add meaning to your day trading decisions. Do watch that also. Let's start. Also, you can remain updated by joining my free telegram channel. Let me turn off the indicators. I'll come back to indicators later. Now, let's have a look at the daily charts first. Now, if you look at the near term behavior for Tech 100, see, this was the bearish channel in which it was trading. It has given a reversal. It has given a breakout here. Now, it is trading in this bullish channel here. Precisely, it has achieved the top here. Does it mean that it can move to the bottom of this channel? There is a possibility to it. But, we have to watch how it behaves at around 15,380 levels. Once it draws below 15,380, the chances of it to hit 15,200, 15,100 levels will increase. And hence, safer sell entry is below 15,380 levels where one can expect bearishness in Tech 100 which can take it till towards 15,200, 100. And if it breaks below 15,000, treat this as a bearish reversal and it is going to crash again towards 14,600, 400 zone. Now, this is just one part for and specifically for next week. Why? Because see, uh, one more observation here, you can see the bullishness getting diminished with each candle and then this candle has appeared. This could be a reversal indication because see the bulls getting diminished here. Now, it is planning, markets are in indecision, the buys and sell, buyers and seller both are in decision mode. And the direction it takes is going to be a stronger one. So, I will wait for it to break on the downside which can possibly hint us that it is going to break a little and specifically below this zone more bearishness may prevail. So, this is one part to it. Next part, on the upside, see, it is giving you lower highs so far. Remember, every level is meant to be broken. This is an expanding triangle so far. If you do not consider this bearish channel, this is an expanding triangle so far. Now, if you look at on the upside, 15800 is a critical level which Tech 100 has to sustain above. Now, you can see these levels are definitely great, great resistance here for Tech 100. First at 15600 and then at 15800. So, this zone becomes critical if it stays above 15800 in the month of September. You can treat that it is going to give a breakout which is going to be much stronger taking it above 16,000 levels. That is another point you must note here. Now, let's have a look at the near term. See, this was the breakout after the consolidation here and after that a good rise. Now, it, it can still be considered a flag formation here in the near term. Remember what has happened this time. It has breached the lows here. That is important because see, this was the previous consolidation zone. It failed to break the next consolidation zone here at 14,400, 600. And hence, this suggests that there is a good support on the downside and this could be a possible pole and flag formation where a breakout above 15,800 certainly should be taken up seriously. Now, let's have a look at the weekly. First of all, on the weekly charts, after forming the bottom here, it has shown a good rally and we were on this ride. We have mentioned several times that Tech 100 is going to give a good rally from there. And specifically, the major prediction was beyond 13,200 level that it is going to give a breakout, which is going to be stronger. Now, what has happened since then? See, this was the bullish channel in which Tech 100 was trading. This is the first time it has come out of this channel. And now the top of the channel is almost giving it a very, very good resistance. Now, this also suggests that once it falls back within the channel, stays above 15,800, certainly more bullish momentum may continue. Now, look at the last two candles here. In the last two candles, a smaller green body, there was a pullback here. And then this stronger bullish momentum has appeared towards the end of the month. Second observation that this candle has a flat bottom and it has left a little wick on the upside. Now, this little wick suggests that there is a room for it to continue on the upside. Also, there is an increasing body size. But at the same time, 15,800 is something which is going to give it a tough resistance here. What is the probability that there is a probability rather that it can try to achieve the double top levels 
consolidate here and then show a pullback. This is also equally applicable, is equally possible here that forming the double top here, it can try to move down. So next week, it might stay bullish. There is a probability that it could continue on the upside. There are resistance at a 15, 600 and 800 zone. Very strong resistance is here. I will observe if it continues on the upside, I will definitely observe how it behaves at around 800. That will be possibly a good entry for us to sell NASDAQ 100 and stay short. But let's watch more. If you look at the move here on the weekly charts is also a, a pull and flag formation and the downside is wide open till towards 14,400 levels and the upside is now limited. So definitely, definitely you have to take care how it behaves at around 15,800 levels. Now let's have a look at the monthly charts. On the monthly charts, on the monthly charts, previous two candles, lower highs, lower lows, yes, and See, the price has failed to stay bearish. It has shown a very, very good pullback. Now, remember the body is still red. The body is still red. It suggests there is bearishness. I will still observe. See, there is a good probability that it can achieve these highs here at 15800. So, next week, possibly it can stay bullish. It can try to rise a little, form a double top. And then from there, the retracement on the downside could begin there is a fair chance that the pullback has to be there sooner or later in this month. I will definitely watch out how it behaves next to next week. But right now, next week, there is a, a strong chance that it could continue with the upward move. But let's observe more. Now, look at this. Where it has closed, it has closed at a flat levels from where the month has closed. So, 15,480 levels here. Now, if it continues on the downside, definitely as we discussed, 15,380 levels you can sell. Expect that we might see it again at 15,200, 100 levels and staying below 15,000, certainly you should stay short. We are going to look at lower lows in the month of September where we can expect 14,400, 300 levels as the strongest support. Now, these levels are very, very good support for Tech 100 here. Now, we have seen the charts. Let's have a look with the help of indicators. Now look at indicators, the 20 period moving average sitting here at around 13,800 levels. Look, whenever the price is diverged from the moving average, it is always converged. Here also it is diverged too much, lower highs are done, lower lows. So it is in the monthly charts on the long term, it is a good flag formation here. And right now it is trying to recover. But see, the prices are divergent from the 20 period moving average. It has a strong probability to converge at least till towards those levels what could happen see the moving average might lift up but then prices should come down and then stabilize here before looking upward so this is one thing which i will be looking forward to and hence for next couple of months possibly it could try to stay bearish but let's have a further detailed look see a uh, stochastic monthly stochastic is extremely overbought whenever see it does not mean that it cannot sustain see tech 100 is almost sustained every time whenever it has gone to overbought zone but right now the divergence is also much so possibility of a drop exists. However, however, look at the MACD here. The MACD on the monthly charts has crossed over after years at this zone. See, Tech 100 stayed bullish so far from post-financial crisis in 2010, 2008, 9, and since then it has stayed bullish. It has seen a very good run and it has erased. MACD has come to the bottom almost in just couple of years. Now what has happened? It has given a bullish cross here a few months back. It is trading with divergence. So, and this suggests that there is a room on the monthly charts for Tech 100 to move up. However, 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 what could happen? It could possibly converge a bit, means couple of red candles here. And then from there, the divergence could begin again. This suggests that this month and next month, something you have to be watchful. And then we can expect that there could be a possible pullback towards the end of the year or towards maybe from the 11th month onwards we can expect a little pullback here so yes it is still bullish it is divergent a little convergence but as long as it is does not cross over do not treat nasdaq 100 is bearish and hence you have to be careful rsi flat near to top coming to the week on the weekly charts what has happened prices were divergent from the 20 period moving average it has converged now see the moving average again is starting to look upwards and you can see this crossover here this is divergence this is bullishness also, if you look at this crossover has happened after a long, long time here, after one year or so. And historically, NASDAQ 100 has seen this bullish cross after, uh, you can see, 2016-17. This was the crossover. Since then, it has stayed bullish. It has traded with divergence. And after that time, this is the first time it has crossed over. Now, 
that is why i say yeah uh, yes it could try to rise it could in fact try to hit in fact 16000 is also possible but then a pullback is must maybe next week or next to next week onwards that is what we can say and then it will try to shed a little on the downside towards 14000 13800 levels from next for next few weeks and hence a bullishness next week will not be an indication that it is going to stay bullish you have to still be watchful on the upside a stock has stick at bottom it is trying to rise on the weekly chart this also suggests that there could be a greener candle here but look at me now see macd here after staying at bottom see at this point also we have discussed that triple bottom levels are done we can possibly look forward to rise what a straight bull run we have seen also if you look at these levels these are a good higher levels in fact uh, post covid bull run also did not take macd to these levels and since then we have seen a cross over here and this is a bearish cross now look at it closely yes we can expect a greener candle here next week but then uh, after converging we can see again a sharper sharper drop so you have to uh, in the month of september specifically as long as 16000 levels i will say 14 15800 and 16000 these two levels are respected do not trade this for a bullish reversal or uh, do not consider as bullish possibly we can see a pullback level later rsi looking upwards again let's have a look at the daily chart now on the daily charts moving average is again crossed over here trading with divergence so prices are divergent from the moving average and uh see we have seen whenever prices diverge from the moving average we have seen a conversion and this also increases the chance that possibly it could again try to come down how far 15 200 levels 15000 levels very very good support and then ultimately below 15000 is where the bears will try to take over here very good support exists at around 15000 you have to be watchful here see stock has stick is overbought and hence a little bit of drop cannot be denied now look at macd see macd on the daily charts has crossed over from the bottom levels that is why last week when i predicted when i said that this crossover is happening after a long time it could try to continue on the upside thus and second thing is see the divergence it has seen it is probably formed a cusp and hence first couple of days we have to watch out still it has lot much of scope on the upside here so a possible greener candle on the weekly charts can be expected and on the downside supports are at around 15 200 it can show you swings be aware be cautious be watchful rsi flat and now we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators time for me to define the trading levels and strategy such that you can trade profitably next week and before i provide you the trading levels and strategy I have couple of offerings. First is my mentorship batch. The twenty fifth batch is going to start on first week of September. Only limited seats are available. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My Telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Remember, invest in your learning first, which can reap the profits. This investment is the only investment which can reap you profits throughout your life, and it is going to increase as in how your experience and the learning increases. Thus, join the batch and. equip yourself with the right tools techniques and strategy also you can be part of my signals channel reach out to me for more details now with that first is where to buy i will recommend you to buy here at 15 520 levels beyond this 15 600 is something you should watch out for this is very very important level you should note this this is a very very strong resistance zone beyond this 15 720 next target and then 15 800 840 zone now these levels are going to be critical for tech 100 for next week only and only if it stays above this you can expect 16000 levels is a must here possibly it could try to breach those levels or once so you should watch out more carefully i do expect that uh, there is a good probability that 15 800 840 levels will be seen however beyond that uh this will be a stretched journey and hence the chances of a pullback will be very very strong so be careful above 15800 840 levels on the downside however yes beyond this zone you can have to still be bullish but with the strict stop loss at your entry price now on the down i will recommend you to sell here at 15 420 but then 15 380 these are the two levels you should watch out 15 420 380 if it stays below this you can expect 15 300 first resistance then 15 218 and below that we can expect it to hit 15 090 
14970. Now these levels you must be equipped by now because we have discussed so many times these levels and then 14920. The next strongest support zone on the downside for tech 100 is at 14920, 14970 zone. This is a very very strong support and then this is the next stronger. See as long as 15200 levels are respected these are very very good support levels for tech 100 then 15100 and then 14920 zone very strong support levels exist on the downside when we say extreme good supports remember it must find good resistance there and uh, if it breaks this resistance with a sharp drop remember it will try to pull back equally sharply and hence you have to trade cautiously as long as 14 15,000 levels are respected and then specifically 49.20 is respected. So take your trades accordingly. Trade with the stop loss, trade with the trailing stop loss. And yes, towards the end of the month, below this, we can expect 14,600 and below levels as well. So do trade with caution, trade with the stop loss. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Do press the bell icon, join my mentorship by join my signals channel. Reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week ahead. Thank you.